Hi, my name is Rebecca Satella and I live in Acton, Massachusetts. And I'm going to be talking to you today about my art quilt called Autumn Birch Bark. So Autumn Birch Bark started as one of my photographs. I take a ton of photographs and mostly of nature. And what I look for in a photograph is something really different and exciting. And there's a tree in my neighborhood, uh, an old birch bark tree, and I'd noticed it several times on my walks. And the bark was really interesting. And the, the, just the, the intricacy of the bark was really beautiful. So I took several pictures of the birch bark. And then with my, I have two iPads. I have an older one and a newer one. And I had the older one on one side and I had the newer one on the other side. And I use a drawing program, a digital pro drawing program called Art Rage. And I look at the photograph and I look at Art Rage and I started drawing it in Art Rage. And Art Rage has a really interest interesting tools. One of them is called the Gloop Pen. So I discovered that when I started drawing the, um, the, the image for the birch bark, that the glue pen worked really well to, to, to show off the, the birch bark, the, the roughness of the bark. And what's interesting about that tool is that it kind of starts off with a little bit of a blob, then you get a line and then there's a blob at the end. And I really had a lot of fun using that. So I drew my image uh, and then I decided to colorize it. And I tried several different colorways. Uh, one was uh, different shades of blues and grays, and the other was kind of reds and pinks, and they, they just really didn't grab me. And then when I started using browns and oranges and kind of uh, dark reds, all of a sudden it clicked. The, once, I, once I liked the colors, uh, the next step is that um, I have a, a fabric printer, um, and I can send my files digitally to, to get them printed. And so I sent it off and it comes back to me a few days later via FedEx. And the next start, of the, the next part of the process is um, interfacing the silk. It, this is all printed on silk. Um, and then adding wool batting and then cotton batting and backing, also made of cotton. Uh, then it gets pinned together, pin basted, and then I hand baste it with thread to get rid of the pins, and then it goes on my Q20, which is my dedicated free motion machine. Uh, the interesting part about using this uh, free motion quilting machine is that it has it has really changed how I approach my art quilts and because of the image that I'm quilting, I'm trying to, to find the best way to amplify that image using my stitching. So usually when I start, it, everything's going along pretty well. And then I hit a roadblock. And what I did with, uh, with Autumn Birch Bark is I started trying to figure out what direction I was going to go in with the quilting because you can go anywhere. And I actually started, my hands kind of started dancing in the air. <laughs> like, should I go this way? Should I go this way? And it reminded me of, uh, in the past, the, when I, when I first met my husband, uh, we met doing whitewater canoeing and it reminded me of going down the water. Uh, and I love, I love water. And especially in streams and the water would go down and it would hit a rock and then it would curl around the rock and start going upstream and that motion and and eddies go up the river is going downstream and the eddy is going upstream and that motion uh that was the motion that I was trying to get in my quilt so um and I even drew a diagram at one point with lines going this way and lines going this way kind of as a map on where I was going to go with my quilting. Um, so it's really interesting. The, um, the, uh, the process is really interesting. 
Um, my background is that I, I went to school at Tufts University and the museum school. So I got my art history and my studio art at the same time. Uh, I also run a sewing school. I've been doing that for over 15 years. Uh, and um, so I, I've been around sewing and textiles for a long time. I've done all kinds of art. I've been an art artist all my life, everything from drawing to painting to batik, which is silk painting. Uh, I even made stained glass windows at one point. I have some installations in downtown Boston still of my stained glass. But art quilting has really grabbed me. And uh, I find it so interesting and challenging and fun. And uh, I love the silk. I love the sheen of the silk. So this is it for me. I, I really, I, I feel like I have found my, my artwork. So uh, let me think if there's anything else I wanted to tell you. Oh, I, I guess I have a favorite quote from Miles Davis. When I'm at my machine and I'm getting stuck and I don't know where to go, I think of this quote of his, which is, do not fear mistakes. There are none. That's it. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.